Does this here look familiar? It does for me. Let's review the Adidas Switch Forward. Hey everyone and welcome back on the channel. My name is Alex and in today's video we are reviewing the brand new Adidas Switch Forward, a new model by Adidas, something that Adidas created from scratch and that looks familiar. This is very similar to uh, what On is doing with their clouds and their new cloud tech phase technologies, those uh, clouds that are not just uh, horizontal but that are designed to act as dominoes. This is very, very similar here. I'm just gonna give you some uh, legal background here. The on patent for clouds is protecting something that is completely transverse, meaning that the clouds go from one side to the other of the midsole in terms of width. Here, as you can see, those pockets of air, they are only going from here to somewhere here, and then another triangle goes in the other direction, meaning that it's a different type of technology. It looks very similar, but it's a different type of technology. And like someone rightfully said on Instagram, it doesn't mean that because this shoe released after the OnCloud Surfer, Adidas copied on to, you know, have come up with the, this idea. These shoes are being developed for 18 months, sometimes two years or beyond, and they may be started at the same time to look into that same type of uh, midsole pattern with a domino effect. All I'm trying to say is that yes, it looks familiar, but they're different shoes and uh, they're not necessarily coping on each other. And if that's the case, we'll probably have uh, some legal actions. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Let's go back to the shoe and let's share some stats, specs, um, mostly because this is quite some numbers that we have here. Weight in my US size 11 EU45 is 369 grams. It's a very heavy shoe and you can feel it even in your hands. 45 millimeters of stack height in the heel, 35 in the forefoot, 10 millimeters drop. And you have that EVA based midsole continental rubber, one for years, one for dollars. That's for the numbers. This is a, a bad fit in the sense that it's a bad fit if you're going for your true to size. And this is my true to size. It runs super long. It reminded me actually of another shoe uh, being named Forward in the Adidas line, and that was the 40 Forward that was at least one full size too big for me in my uh, regular true to size. This is at least half a size too big for me. I would consider trying it half size down or maybe even a full size down, mostly because of the length, but that's also causing issues in the midfoot section of the shoe. Forefoot is okay because it's a relaxed type of uh, a ride you're looking for with the shoe and having lots of volume in the forefoot is okay, but there's a lot of movement in the, in the midfoot, lots of movement in the heel as well. I had to go with a runner's knot to prevent from having too much action going on in the, in the heel. Let's look at the right section of the shoe, the midsole. So EVA based, 45 millimeters in the heel, 35 in the forefoot, 10 millimeters drop, and those, how to call them, small, um, yeah, small like triangles, small pyramids in the shoe, because they really have that special shape. It's a triangle from looking from the outsole. It's that sort of small eye looking from the side. And as you can see, those triangles, those, um, yeah, triangles, they don't go the whole width of the shoe. They're, they stop kind of like three quarters of the width. And then another triangle comes from the other side and does the same, stopping at three quarters of the width of the shoe. It's actually interesting. And I, you know, putting the shoe on, I was very skeptical. Running in the shoe, I have kind of a different opinion. It's not a shoe for me. I'm not gonna use it a ton more after uh, this review, this test, but I think it's a great shoe if you are a heavier runner. And that's also surprisingly how Adidas is marketing this shoe for heavier runner that can compress that huge stack height and that can take advantage of that domino effect, especially in the heel. There's nothing going on in the forefoot and that's also a huge difference with the on cloud surfer. And actually the only stuff that's happening in the shoe is happening in the heel when you are compressing the heel and when you can really feel, and that's not like, you know, I'm not making this up. You can really feel how the shoe is propelling you forward from the heel. And it's probably the first time I actually felt that. Many, many shoes are propelling you forward from the midfoot, from the forefoot, thanks to the rocker, the plate, the, the foam, many different things give you that feeling of being propelled forward. Here it's really like sinking in the heel and being propelled forward from the heel to your toe off and to your next stride, which is unique and very 
and very interesting. It's actually enjoyable to run in this shoe, but again, I'm probably too light for this shoe. I'm around 70 kilos, you know, moving from, let's say, 68 to 72, somewhere there. You need to be heavier than that to really take advantage of that compression of the small air pockets, pyramid, whatever you call them, in the midsole. And you also need to be a full heel striker, meaning that anything midfoot, forefoot, you just don't feel how this technology works and what it does to you. If we look at the geeky side of things, there's a TPU plate beneath the midsole and it helps step soft, but with the compression it has, you definitely would have more insecurity and more, let's say, issues without that plate. Interestingly though, and that's again a comparison with the OnCloud Surfer, the Surfer only has the CloudTech face, but no speedboard, and that makes it way more mushy and very, let's say, agile, very um, playful, joyful type of, type of shoe, type of ride. Here you have something that is a bit more rigid, a bit more firm, and that again, you can only really feel the advantage, the benefits of if you're a heel striker. Also, Continental Rubber, you probably have five millimeters of it here. I'm, you know, predicting a great durability for the shoe. Big issue though, which I haven't encountered in my rounds with the shoe yet, is that you will collect a ton of new friends with this outsole pattern and midsole pattern, meaning rocks that you will grab along the way. But if you're fine with that, um, you can enjoy the shoe for sure. I think it's an interesting product, to be honest. And I would see many, many heavier runners, heel strikers that could enjoy this shoe, despite the weight and despite, the, let's say, not ideal fit. 140 years, 140 dollars, make it also a competitive, let's say, entry to mid-level type of price. Go check it out if you're um, one of those runners that I described here. I think if you have stability issues, it's probably okay. Also because you have some sidewalls quite high in the shoe. You have the TPU plate and you have something that is not compressing and collapsing too much, neither in the heel nor in the forefoot. So you can also look at it if you're like that mild to moderate pronator. I would say. Let's link to the review of the Adidas 40 Forward, another innovative shoe that Adidas uh, put together. So you'll have it here and you can subscribe to the channel here. Enjoy your run today, enjoy your ride and go beyond your limits. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye guys.